Hey, Jim Jims, welcome back. I don't know why I said it like that, but welcome back, guys. <laughs> I hope y'all are doing well. 12.22 on the clock. Okay, that could be significant. That could be a significant synchronicity for you. Okay, let's see what's going on with you guys, Jim and I. All right, like, comment, subscribe, guys. Thank you all for the love, the support, the donation. I appreciate you all. So let's see what's going on here for Gemini Spirit. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, gods and goddesses. Give me clear messages here for Gemini. Please return any spell work, any dark magic that is sent to harm the collective and their loved ones. Me and my loved ones return it back to the sender. What's going on here for Gem Gems? Messages for Gemini. Let's see what's going on for Gemini here, Spirit. All right, so we have reconciliation in reverse. <laughs> Apologies, making things right, fixing what's broken, mending bridges. Okay, so it's somebody here you ain't reconciling with ever. Okay, that's not what it sounds like to me. What else? Okay, who just had that? Leo had disconnecting, but this says patterns. Repeating cycles, same old, same old, same shit, different day, unchanged. <laughs> Disconnecting, withdrawing, tuning things out, wanting to be left alone, detaching. Okay, what else? And then we have opportunity, chance, new growth, special occasion, new possibilities. Bottom of the deck is fill me up, feeling empty, dissatisfied, and discontent, looking for fulfillment, covering up voids. So I feel like somebody has had the chance to make something right with you, to apologize, to say what they needed to say, but instead they, you know, resisted, okay? They insisted on keep showing the same patterns, acting like they don't give a fuck or whatever. So now you're not reconciling with their ass or there will be, there is no chance. The, the, the opportunity to reconcile with the door is closed is what I'm getting. So now you're completely disconnecting. I feel like this is some sort of karmic cycle you're closing out. Because somebody ain't changed their way. They ain't their ego or whatever the fuck. So now you have new opportunities coming in for you. For like, um, you're growing, okay? You're building. Let's see. Why is reconciliation here in reverse? For Gem Gems. Yeah, <laughs> judgment in reverse, child. No more second chances. Okay. Right? Like, this person could have had a chance to ask you for forgiveness or something, and they fucked in. They missed the opportunity. I feel like there was some sort of time frame Spirit gave somebody. All right. Okay. Let's see. Could be a Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag. What's reconciliation in reverse? Somebody here could have falsely accused you of something or place blame on you where the blame needed to really be on their ass somebody here plays victim is what i'm getting yeah ten of pentacles this could have been this could have been someone in your family somebody that she was married to engaged to or y'all just had some sort of family y'all were building together or something um but i feel like this is sort of like some sort of karmic cycle that's on repeat it's closing out in order for you to get this ten of pentacles Okay, this could be you coming to, into some sort of wealth and prosperity. Some of y'all could be getting ready to go into connections and things like that, where you're going to get married, start a family, um, build a business. with. Like This could be a family business even. I don't know. For some of you, there's a whole family under judgment for doing something to you. I don't know what the fuck this is. But um, some sort of past life karma, something that's been passed down through generations or something is... I feel like it's finally closing out. I feel like these people, they had an opportunity to apologize or say what they need to say or make something right, and they didn't. They just didn't do it. Somebody keeps refusing an awakening, refusing to transform. This could be somebody, too, that's, like, gossiping and shit with the judgment in reverse. What's the judgment in reverse here? Yeah, the Queen of Swords. That's you, Gemini. I feel like you're calling judgment. You're calling judgment here. I feel like you ask someone about something or because you... I feel like because you set clear boundaries with somebody, 
they don't like that or you cut them off so it's like well fuck you i'm not gonna you know abide i'm not going to fucking respect you anymore i feel like that's the kind of energy is what i'm getting like somebody here play games with you because you cut them off in the first place because they needed to be cut off this is i feel like you were supposed to teach somebody something and they're just refusing to learn it they're refusing to learn the lesson because they're too prideful they're too egotistical with the strength card this person could have challenged you a lot You've had to face some sort of challenge with them with the strength. Maybe go watch Leo's reading. I got the same energy. Okay. Yeah. It's like somebody here trying to play games. And I feel like you're very intuitive. You're very discerning. Okay. And you're very intelligent. This could have been somebody that was playing on your intelligence or whatever the fuck. And they ass. I feel like you're calling judgment. <laughs> you call a judgment on they ass. And cutting them off. You don't even want their apology no more. What's the Ten of Pentacles? If there was ever going to be any okay yeah three of wands yeah because this is coming in for you so i feel like there's a lot of comics you know what i'm saying that are just refusing to learn and or some people in karmic energy i don't know they're refusing to learn their lessons and so now karma could could be coming in because cycles are closing out is what i'm getting okay you could be dealing with the aries so in the near future i feel like this ten of pentacles is coming for you i feel like you've turned your back you have some sort of sense of force out here. You can see what's coming for you. Some of y'all could be relocating, you're moving, you're traveling. Um, you could be visiting family. Family could be visiting you. You could be a foreigner, okay? So you could be coming to the States or something like that, or I don't know, because the three of talks about immigration. Um, not, not immigration. What's the word I'm looking for? I think it is immigration. I don't know. But... Um, this is growth and expansion. So something here is coming in. Something is definitely coming in here. Here, the King of Swords, Nine of Wands, the Devil. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see what else. What's the Patterns card? Repeating cycle, same old shit. Same old, same old, same old. Virgo here with the hermit. Virgo came out a lot in Leo's reading. What's patterns with the hermit? I feel like you have a lot of abundance coming in. So what's patterns here with the hermit? A lot of people got, they got to move the fuck out the way. Yeah, trust the message. The trust the message card came out. So I feel like this talks about you going within with the hermit. Trust what you're feeling. All right. This could talk about some sort of spiritual enlightenment too that you're going through. You're being, you're becoming more spiritually in tune and aware. Uh, your chakras could be aligning. Okay. It's like you're growing. You're doing the shadow work. And the more you do the shadow work, the more you grow and things change. And people kind of like fade away because they're not meant to come with you on this path. It's too prosperous. And you can't have a bunch of losers on your path with you. Those cycles are complete. They're done. So I feel like trust the inner guidance that you're getting right now with the hermit or trust what the fuck you're seeing. Some of y'all could be doing some research here or whatever. For some of you, somebody keeps ghosting you. You need to trust that message. Trust the fact that, trust why somebody keeps ghosting you. They could be doing shadow work. Let's see. What, what's the hermit here? The strength card, Leo energy. What else for the hermit with the strength? Somebody, um, somebody could be going through a spiritual upgrade here. Your, your, um, your gifts could be like, in, like amplifying or something. Yeah, six of wands. The magician, the emperor. Something is manifesting. The Magician, the Emperor, the Seven of Wands, the Two of Cups. There's a divine, there's a, like a masculine energy that is uh, coming in. They're trying to manifest you or something like that. Okay, there's a masculine trying to manifest you. Seven of Wands is like fighting or standing up for yourself. This is like being defensive. I feel like somebody's being protective here. Or this could be they as being defensive. I don't know, but um someone could have a leo jupiter 
but some of y'all could be detoxing right now like you're going on like a, a, a like a break okay i'm seeing a phone here six of wands so this could be a social media break okay to go through this spiritual like thing that you're going through or something that you're going through right now internally you could be doing like a sh like some sort of shadow work i don't know you're just going ghost honey you're just going ghost here you're quiet because there could be a lot of people in your business okay a lot of people that watch you you could be seen publicly okay you could be on stage you could do something here but i feel like somebody's building up confidence and strength with the strength card and the six of wands Yeah, it's something like that. Yeah, somebody's standing in their power. Okay, this could be you or this person flipping switchy, but I'm getting there's some sort of victory coming in or there's some sort of like celebration or this could be like rewards and recognition, achievements. Okay. Yeah, you've had some sort of victory or something like that. So now I feel like you're getting like, uh, you've overcame some sort of challenge. You came out victorious and now you're, you're quiet, you're just in solitude, just processing everything. That's what I'm getting with that kind of like energy because a light, maybe some sort of light has been shown on something. Yeah, with the, I mean, that is what the hermit is. Let's trust the message. Two of swords. So trust the message here about something being at a stalemate. I feel like if you're in your head about something, get out of your head and get into like your body. Okay, like your well, yeah, listen to spirit, whatever spirit is telling you. Someone could have a Libra moon, so you could have a major decision to make, and spirit wants you to trust. Get out of your head. This could be you feeling overwhelmed, anxious, nervous to the point where you're at a stalemate with the two of swords, or you could have a hard decision to make between two paths. The choice is really yours here. Hmm, what's this two of swords? The Six of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, so Spirit, I feel like it's putting you to the test now because you've mastered something. You, you know, yeah, Ace of Cups. There's new love coming in. So the Eight of Pentacles talks about self-mastery. Some of you guys are needing to move or relocate or travel or do something to go towards a new job, a new career. Okay, this could be you even moving to a different state for your business. Because, you know, in some states, like in, here in Texas, they ain't got no income tax. That's good. You save a lot of money. One, two, three, four, and a clock. You guys could be seeing those numbers. Um, and some, like, just a lot of other places give you more inspiration. They promote growth. Okay, some of y'all need to move out of your hometown and go somewhere else, right? Like, or whatever. Could be, yeah, strong Virgo here. Someone could have an Aquarius Mercury. So you're being guided with the Six of Swords. You're being supported and guided as you move forward. This could talk about like healing. You're level. I feel like you're leveling up here. You're making progress in your journey because you've once again mastered something. You've came out on top of something. You defeated something is what I'm getting. It's like elevation here. Some of y'all do have a new job coming in. You're trying to choose between this job, that job, where you should move for that job or whatever. But whatever this is, is guiding you towards a, a commitment. The love that you want, the relationship that you want, the marriage, if you guys want that. But you need to listen to your intuition. Your intuition is telling you something about this juggling or there's a need to stay open or flexible, okay? There's going to be a breakthrough. Something is coming into balance, okay? Like, I don't know what this is. Something is definitely coming into balance for you. As you just follow your guidance, just keep moving forward. Things can be calming down after like a time of turbulence too. Something could have recently happened that shows you something that maybe you might you maybe didn't like or whatever. Some of y'all could be in denial about something here. But I feel like I feel like it's more so I'm hearing something about patience. You guys can be seeing 888. Some of y'all, okay, you could be scared to move too. Somebody is scared to move because you're used to like you're used to your comfort zone. You're used to staying somewhere in one place. But spirit is telling you, spirit is trying to guide you to move somewhere for whatever reason. You just need to listen. You need to listen here. And I'm also getting something is taking time. It's taking patience. It's stagnant. Okay, it's taking time. So you could be like impatient right now or something. 
and you're trying to decide like if you if you should keep waiting if it's worth the wait or if it's not okay so you need to go within to figure the answers out there's like a level of those spiritually too like uh, energetically excuse me there's a level up here yeah king of wands the fool the the moon yeah it's like you don't have to take a risk for whatever this is get out of your head four swords or whatever and take the risk this could be a masculine coming towards you, King of Wands, a fool. It could be an Aquarius, a Leo, Cancer Pisces. They could be, I don't know. There's fear here, though. There's like insecurities or things just look very vague. Like you don't have the full picture. And you're going to have to take a leap of faith. <laughs> you're going to have to just do it. Or this is this your person. Yeah. What's, um... What's disconnecting, withdrawing, tuning things out, wanting to be left alone, detaching? Okay, King of Pentacles in reverse. Hmm. Taurus energy could be significant or it could be Virgo Capricorn. What's disconnecting with the Four of Cups? So something is, okay, I'm getting like a lot of stalemate energy. Like something is at a stalemate. This is probably why it's hard because you're trying to figure out if this is worth, worth waiting for. The King of Pentacles, somebody is like superficial or very materialistic. I'm also getting like somebody's like a cheater. There's a whole empire that came crashing down. Somebody could have lost a business opportunity or their business could have went under with the King of Pentacles in reverse, something like that. Somebody could be having financial issues, finances, their finances are fucked up, four of cups. I feel like somebody feels discontent or unhappy or somebody just like really self-absorbed and they're focused on the negative here. This four of cups, something didn't go right. What else? What, what's this king of pentacles in reverse here? Somebody is lacking some sort of stability. What's the king of pentacles in reverse? You know, I'm getting to, there's a lot of shit that's closed out. There's past shit that's closed out. It's coming back up. It's resurfacing because people are getting their karma. Okay, yeah, the Empress in reverse. Yeah, Taurus, Libra energy. So, okay, you're disconnecting from this false, whoever this is. Could be a strong Taurus here or Libra. Okay, that's, you're disconnecting from some sort of false fake ass empress or emperor or whatever could be a false twin somebody here is not able to create okay but like for some of you this person too could have tried to blackmail you <laughs> they could have tried to blackmail you here whoever your baby mama is or whatever the fuck or this could be your baby daddy i don't know they could just be in feminine energy like distorted feminine energy or something but it could be a woman too though flip it switch it um give me more on this king of pentacles in reverse with the empress in reverse somebody's like they have low self-esteem they're very insecure okay yeah six of cups this could be somebody you got a child with scorpio here with the six of cups somebody from your past somebody that you got children with here um, they could be very like nostalgic. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like past shit is coming up here, but I feel like it's because they're getting their karma. These people could have have had a chance to like apologize or do the right thing, and they kind of like betrayed you. They kept going on and on and on without a care in the world. Like they ain't did shit or continuing to like play victim and probably do some more shit on top of the fact that they playing victim. And now, I feel like they didn't lost their chance. They didn't lost their fucking chance here because they didn't did too much. Give me more on this King of Pentacles. The world. Yeah, cycle is closed out for a new beginning with the world. Yeah, this is like something. So there's something that you've overcame. You've completed this cycle here when it comes down to dealing with this person. Whoever this is. Baby daddy, baby mama, whoever. They false in your life. Mother, daddy, sister, cousin, brother. Okay. Yeah, you're setting yourself free and standing in your power. Nine of Pentacles, the Magician and the Emperor. This could be a Divine Mask and that was with a False Empress or whatever. This person. Mm. Yeah, 
Yeah, that shit is closed. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about it, honey. There could be kids involved, though. But I feel like this is more like... Six of Cups talks about past influences. For some of you, this person here could have been... There could have been some abuse here and a connection, too. All right. What's the Four of Cups? So somebody's offer is getting rejected. Yeah, Knight of Cups. Pisces. Yeah, I feel like... Somebody here didn't like doesn't like the fact that you're rejecting them or whatever this is. Knight of Cups talks about listening to your inner voice. This could be good news here. Somebody is discontent about the fact that you're getting ready to go out and date somebody. You're getting ready to get courted or something like that. Some sort of karmic is like keeping an eye on you. I feel like they stalk you, they watch you, or they can just feel you energetically pulling away because this could be a soul tie or something. They're like you're getting further and further away. I'm discontent. I'm unhappy. Or the fact that you are now seeing things for what they are. Because Knight of Cups is someone that's very intuitive. This could talk about you going through some sort of upgrade with your gifts too. Because this person was in the way here. What's this Four of Cups with this Knight of Cups? Something too. I feel like it's laying on this person's heart to apologize, whether they're karmic or not, and they just sitting here. That's what I'm saying. What's the four of cups with the knight of cups here? This could be okay, yeah, codependency, nine of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, I feel like that's a karmic. Ten of swords of justice. Yeah, people are getting karma for what they did. Whoever these people are, they're getting karma. And there's something new coming in. Ace of Pentacles, King of Cups. So there could be a new person, could be an Aries. I mean, uh, what well, could be an Aries, but a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or a Scorpio. Karma is playing out for these betrayals or whatever the fuck this is that happened. I just feel like collectively, globally, energetically, even if it's past shit, I feel like people are getting their karma. <laughs> like, just period. Yeah, the devil. Yeah, five of wands. There's a lot of toxicity where they at, whoever they are. The devil, five of wands, page of wands. So, I don't know. These could be people y'all got children with mainly and shit like that. But the Nine of Pentacles, yeah, somebody is like uh, codependent. Whoever this is is a scam artist too. They could be a fucking like, um, they are moocher. They're a leech. Somebody here that marries for money, they're very, they're, they're a gold digger. For some of you, your karmics here could have went to, towards somebody else and they got this child. They got a child by this karmic and they, this karmic is lazy. They can't create shit. They can't create shit together. That's what I'm saying. Like their connections are fucked up and you can ready to go off and get married. This is what I'm saying. You know, so. Yeah, somebody's little apology or they offer is getting rejected or whatever. Because I feel like I feel like these people that have the intention to date you again, they want to date you again. They're not apologizing for the right reasons. You know what I'm saying? Like they are apologizing because it's like, well, I want them back and I'm going to do whatever I can to get them back. I'm kind of like getting a manipulative energy. And now they ask getting rejected because you know what they're doing. You know what their motives are, their intentions are. Um, and somebody here is codependent. They ass is broke. They ain't got shit going on here. Um, somebody's a con artist. <laughs> Nine of Pentacles in reverse is a scammer. And they could be sleeping around and shit. Somebody could be a prostitute. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Or they're just a hoe. I don't know. But mm -hmm. this cycle is closed out with them now. So they're going to have to deal with whatever. Yeah, three of swords. They're going to have to deal with whatever mess they done put themselves in. And, and if, they had, if they had a chance to make it right with you and they didn't, oh well. What's the opportunity? Chance, new growth, special occasion, new possibilities. Ace of Cups. The Will of Fortune in reverse and the Ace of Cups. <laughs> I know y'all just heard my stomach. That was my stomach. I don't know why I just made that noise. The High Priestess, the Knight of Swords, the Eight of Swords, the Spirit Gods. <laughs> the Page of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups. Somebody's sitting around doing like magic and shit. They sitting around doing black magic, child. <clears throat> Somebody's aware, though. But, um, Will of 
fortune in reverse talks about things not turning like out in your favor. This is like bad luck. This could be definitely bad karma. People are getting their karma and there's new love coming in for you. Your love life is getting ready to change. I'm also getting like setbacks. There could have been like a setback or a delay to, to a new love here. It's taking time to come in. Let's see. Or your love life just been delayed. Like it's been hella fucking delayed. Excuse me, delayed. Because of all this extra shit here. This karma that needed to be cleared possibly. What's the will of fortune in reverse? Damn, Ace of Swords. Oh, my card. Ace of Swords here, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. That's you. So, yeah. Ace of Swords is like something here, some sort of problem or some things had to be resolved. There's some sort of truth and clarity around a certain situation so that way you could block it. Seven of Wands or the universe can help you block this, whatever this mess is. There could be somebody too, I was just getting to intuitively, there could be somebody you in separation with where y'all haven't communicated. There's going to be, there's some sort of breakthrough here. Now everybody's getting their karma. It's just what I'm getting. Everybody that ain't teamed up against you or hurt you in some type of way or whatever, they get, they get they get getting ready to get their karma. What's the will of fortune reverse ace of swords? Unfortunately, reverse ace of swords. Yeah, the moon and the fool. Aquarius energy, Cancer Pisces. Yeah, you're liberating yourself. You're setting yourself free from something. Spirit is helping you to do so. Yeah, the temperance, the death card. There's a major change here. Major. Mm -hmm. Something. Y'all getting ready to be a whole wife out here. A husband, a wife, whatever. I don't know, but the fool is definitely... Taking a leap of faith, taking a risk here, getting out of something. You, you've removed yourself from something here. I feel like you doing this here is bringing in karma for everybody involved. Good karma for you, bad karma for them. All it took was for you to like take a leap of faith or this is what you need to do here in order to get this opportunity because it could be coming in, but you could be delaying it because you need to take a leap of faith. Yeah, your person in the eight of wands. I'm telling you, something coming in fast. Something coming in fast here. There could be some sort of like communication coming from your person. Some of y'all already know who this is. Other Others of you, this could be new. You could be meeting this person like on your travels. Okay, like, I don't know, but communication coming in though. I know that much. What's the Ace of Cups? You could already be communicating with them or whatever. Well, what's the Ace of Cups? Yeah, Eight of Cups needing to walk away from something or you have. I see Saturn. So now you have good news coming in. Page of Cups with the Six of Pentacles. What's the Ace of Cups with the Eight of Cups? Page of Wands. Yeah, something new. Excitement. Feeling inspired to do something new. Okay, this could be good news. Some of y'all walking away from somebody that's just childish. They could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag. But yeah, I feel like your desire is, you're desiring something new, something else, right? And I feel like it's coming in. Some of y'all, this this could start off quite spicy, okay? You and this person. Damn, that whole deck fell on the floor. You and this person could be starting off quite spicy. Um, Yeah, you walked away from something because it's not emotionally fulfilling you at all here. So you left and now something new can come in. You're, you're, you're opening, you're allowing spirit to, uh, you know, let something new in for you. And you're going after what you are passionate about, what you desire, what you want, period. So this looks good. I don't know, will the fortune in reverse? I feel like that's just delayed. Something has been hella delayed. Or things to be kind of like chaotic here. These are that's like chaotic or upheaval, chaos going on because the truth has came out. Uh, maybe about some sort of chaos or about the fact that you've been on the wrong path or whatever. But you freed yourself from something big here, or your person did. So let's see. Let's see what's going on here for Jim Jones. 
So you got big changes coming in, honey. Suddenly unexpected with the food. That's Uranus. So sudden unexpected changes. Things coming from out the blue, child. King of Pentacles. Because we got this King of Pentacles here in reverse. Who this King of Pentacles? Solid, stable, grounded, empire, wealth, faithful. Who this King of Pentacles upright? 3D. Okay, yeah. Somebody is superficial. Unhealthy ego, judgmental, label, streets, mentality, linear, thinking, play victim. Yeah. Materialistic, bad habits, low vibration, toxic. Okay, yeah. Whoever this King of Pentacles is here, they done, they done fucked up. I don't know. You leaving their ass behind with they. Whoever this is, this could be their baby mama or something like that. that they, I don't know what they got going on with this hoe. But I feel like... Mm -hmm. What else? Or oh, this is a woman that's like that. Soul tribe. Similar values and beliefs understands you, resonates with you, support system. On a spiritual journey, individually and together, belonging, collaboration, and authenticity. Yep, Ace of Cups. So some of y'all are really going to be meeting people that you resonate with. New relationships, celebrations, love, new romance, new beginnings, fertility. Happiness, joy, conception, pure intention. Some of y'all could be getting ready to have children and settle down. Like, it's coming. It's definitely coming in here. There's there's a new beginning. Okay, Pluto in reverse. A Scorpio. Obsessed with power, control. Yeah, destruction, infatuation, crime, rebellious, secrets hidden in shadows. Mm. Yeah, whoever's on this type of time in your life, they getting karma. <laughs> they getting karma. They getting some really bad karma here. Heart chakra, unconditional love, compassion, empathetic, emotionally balanced, serenity, light, gratitude, forgiveness, center of awareness, transformation and change, and energy flow. Leo, so a Leo could be significant. Definitely go watch Leo's reading. <laughs> okay. And watching. Fine, social media platform, pictures online, drive by, content, nosy, stalking, obsessing. Someone has their eyes on you. Let's keep going, spirit widows. So we have Uranus, yeah, Aquarius. Yeah, unexpected changes, sudden and un unpredictable. So a lot of these things that are happening with these karmics in the 3D right now are unexpected. Like they're like losing homes, cars, relationships, jobs. All kind of shit here. Because you're making changes here. You're taking a leap of faith. It says, sudden and unpredictable tension, change, creation, art, science, authentic, leadership, independence, and intensive power. Yeah, so you're taking a lead in your life here. You could be getting communication here from someone of your soul tribe. Unexpected letter, email, message, text, phone call, voicemail, pop-up. Unexpected message through mutual friends and planning. So yeah, somebody of your soul tribe, I feel like they kind of like, they could know you already or you could know them or you're just getting communication from people that you resonate with. I feel like there could be like long communication, like long conversations, I meant, with these people. Y'all just connect, okay? You're going to be meeting more people like that, which is good. <clears throat> Let's see. Astral travel. Under the Ace of Cups. So you and this person are going to be able to astral travel to each other. I don't know. You have the ability to separate your astral body from your physical self and travel to different dimensions, realms, and connect with past on loved ones through meditation or dreams. That came up under new new relationships, the Ace of Cups. So this could be too like a some sort of upgrade here with your spiritual abilities with the Ace of Cups. That's like that's like your intuition with that water sign energy, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. Child, yeah, let's see. What else? Venus. So, yeah, your lovers. Could be a, a Libra or Taurus involved. But, yeah, people that you've been in a relationship with. Or these could be people you had businesses with. Or some sort of emotional bonds. They, they, these people that were obsessed with power. Basically being narcissistic. Keeping you stuck, trapped. Using their power for the wrong reasons. Okay, using their power against you. They as karma. They getting ready to get karma here for blocking your fucking love life and stopping you. Yeah, love, money, abundance, marriage. Yeah, friendships, relationships, attraction, beauty, 
sympathize, business relationships, emotional bonds, and artistic. Mm -hmm. Breaking generational curses. Yep. And that, that has something to do with your heart chakra. So your relationships could have been like really blah lately. It's like, you're like, bro, why can't I find somebody that's for me? I feel like everybody that you meet, you've taught the lesson and they learn from you. So that's like clearing out karma. So anybody that you've dealt with from the past and maybe recently, I don't know, y'all have cleared out some sort of karma. And now you're getting ready to step into a new, like, a new abundant, like, successful connections, relationships, friendships, whatever. You know? Yeah. You've cleared some sort of fear, guilt, or shame. New bloodline, legacy, first millionaire, yeah. And what else? Throat chakra, right under the Leo card. So some of y'all needed to express yourselves, be expressive, stand up for yourself, speak out, okay? And be consistent with what you're saying. Be honest, okay? What else? So your throat chakra could have been blocked here. You could have had to really stand in your power. And divine union, child, I can't make it up. Somebody, somebody from a, somebody, for some of you, you know this person, they watching you. They're watching you. This says power couple, balanced, yin and yang, awaken, complete, whole, impact, oneness, abundance, safer love, spiritual connection, and growth. Yeah, this person. Yeah, there's a passion new beginning, ace of wands with the guardian angel. Message, signs, and symbols, assistance, answers, meditation, listen, guidance, silent, nature, enlightenment, important, present, and protected. Yeah. Spirit. Spirit. Let's see. What's watching? For some of you, there's people watching you here. Yeah, they're watching you in secret or somebody has a secret that they want to tell you. Let's see, what's watching with secrets? Some of y'all are, this person, somebody is watching you and they're trying to figure out what you're doing. I feel like they can't, they don't know what you're doing because you're not saying anything or you're just gone ghost. You're detoxing from social media. Okay, what's watching with secrets? Queen of Wands. So Queen of Wands could be watching you, Aries, Leo, Sag. What else for watching? Or they just keeping you protected by being quiet about you here. Okay, Queen of Cups in reverse. Emotionally immature. Yeah, weak, needy, bitter, repressed, depressed, spiteful, insecure, drained, block creative, intuition, overgiving, and feel empty. Yeah, so there's a karmic that's watching you possibly. Divine Feminine or Queen of Wands. If you have fire in your chart, they watching you. Because you could be going into a divine union with somebody that left they ass for some of you that's the case they're watching they're obsessed yeah because they're fucking opportunists here this could be another this could be a fire sign Aries Leo says just an opportunist or whatever and this person here this king of pentacles that's your person they had to lose everything because they could have been very 3d based very money focused i don't know but things are changing for them now they're growing or something like that okay but this looks good, Gemini. So this was your reading. Okay, like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on, press the all button so you won't miss any of my readings. And I will talk to you all later. Bye.